Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Welcome to paradise. Welcome to paradise. Yes. Paradise. Welcome to paradise. Good morning. And it's dark outside. Do you see that? That's ridiculous. I have a lot planned today, guys. And I'm gonna keep it's gonna keep blurring in and out. Sorry about that. But that's just the way it is. It's, it's nighttime, guys. It's only it's literally 5.30 right now. So uh I'm gonna hit the gym and it'll probably be light the time I come out, so yeah. It's good Friday this morning. Of course. I wake up at 4.30 and can't go back to sleep. Look at all these early risers. I'm liking it. Hey, look, it's daylight outside. You see that? Guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of a speech to you right now. I'm up, I'm determined, I'm motivated. I'm get, I could have easily went back to bed this morning. My wife's like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna, just lay back down, you'll go back to sleep. You have two voices in your head. You have one saying, ah, just lay down, you'll be good. And then you have the other one saying, well, get up and go, get to the gym, get it over with. It's only 7.20 right now, and the sun's just now coming up. I've already gotten my workout done today. I, I beat the traffic. I'm about to go down the road, get my oil changed. Like, I'm just trying to motivate you guys. Get you in the right mindset. All it is, is the mindset. Don't say you can't do something because you can. You're, it's that other it's that other voice in your head saying, no, you can't do it, but you can. That's all I'm trying to say. I became a doctor at 28 years old. You know, most people are like, oh, well, you're lucky, da, da, da. No, it's not luck. It's because I was determined. I was de de determined to become a doctor. And that's what I did. I went through school. I became a doctor. Now my life set in front of me. And, you know, I'm trying to tell you this because whenever you listen to that voice, it's going to set you, it's going to tell you, you can't do something. It's going to say, you're not smart enough. You're not strong enough. You don't have the right mental state. Guys, don't listen to that. Listen to your, the good voice. You have a bad voice and a good voice. Listen to the right voice. You know what I mean? Even if you, you're in the gym and you're working out by yourself and you're like, ah, no one's watching, you know, I don't need to do this, these 20 crunches. I only need to do 10 and oh, I'm getting to 11. Yeah, I'm tired. That's that voice telling you, stop, don't do another one. You gotta do it, finish it. Listen to the right voice. I'm not yelling at you, I'm just trying to get you motivated, get you, get you on the right mindset. You know, yesterday, when I left, when we left church, me and my wife went to go eat and there was these two bums on the side of the road sitting right there on the curb. And, you know, I got out of the car and I was like, man, these guys are young. And they're, they had their heads down. And I said, I was like, are y'all hungry? And they're like, no, we just ate, but I greatly appreciate it. You know, we're just, we're just sitting here. You know, we're probably going to get a hotel or something. I was like, okay. So I went in and I, me and my wife went to go eat. We were in there a good hour while I came out and they were still sitting there. And um, so I walk over to... I was going to give them money, but I prayed. I was like, God, what do I say to these people? And I looked at them and I was like, you know, I don't know. I don't know their situation. I don't know what was wrong with them. So I asked them, hey, how old are y'all? One guy, the guy said he was 22 and the girl said she was 20. I was like, why in the heck are y'all sitting here on the side of the road, you know, right here sitting down without anything? I was like, where's your parents? And the girl was like, well, my parents died when I was 17. And I'm thinking to myself, ouch, you know, that, that's, that's hard. You know what I mean? That, that is hard. But I was like, if you're gonna, you know, don't let that beat you up because this is where you're going to be the rest of your life. Do you want to sit here and, and sit and beg for money for people out here every single day just to get enough scrounge enough money to sit in a hotel and not even get it all the time? And the guy's like, yeah, you know, like I have a birth certificate, you know, I lived with my sister in Oklahoma and, um, I just was tired of being a burden. So, you know, I left and this is where I met her. And, you know, I heard San Antonio was the place to be, you know, of opportunities. And I was like, it is, it is the land of opportunities. I was like, but you sitting here telling yourself you're worthless, that you're a burden. I was like, you putting that in your head, that's going to stick in your head and you're going to believe it. And that's what you're going to think your entire life. And you're going to be a bum and you're going to sit on the side of the road and you're going to beg for money the rest of your life. And, you know, he was stunned, and I was like, I'm telling you this because I care about you. Let Put it in the big man's hand. Put it in the man upstairs' hands, you know? Like, quit feeling sorry about yourself. Get up and get a damn job. You know, you're, 
you're 20 years old, you're 22 years old, y'all can work, you're healthy. He's like, well, I have jobs, you know, everything was going for me and it just fell apart. And I was like, when I was 17, I opened up my own company. I did gutters on houses. I had no clue what I was doing, but you know what? I was determined. I had the right mindset. So what I did, you know what I did guys? I went to, I went to Home Depot and there was a list of how to do gutters. I ripped it off and I cut it. I went and bought a binder at Office Max, a nice you know, a nice binder. I put it on the thing. I, you know, I printed out proposal sheets and all this stuff and I typed up my thing and I tried to make it look presentable. That's all you got to do is be presentable to people. That's what people want to keep. People don't know what they want. They want you to tell them what they want. So if you have the mindset that you're going to sell something, I try to tell this to my friends, like, you know, landscapers that come in. I'm like, dude, you know, I'm like, let me, let me stay on track with that, but I'm just, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. All I'm saying is, you know, I was determined at 17. I cut I cut Home Depot off the logo. I went and presented it. I went, you know, I called all these gutter places around. I looked and I was like, hey, how much can I, you know, I found out all the prices. I found out because I couldn't, I couldn't afford the machine. I had no money. You know what I mean? So I went, I made proposal sheets, and I went, you know, I went on doors. I went and made um, business cards, real cheap, five bucks to make whatever, you know, a hundred, a thousand cards. So I went and I put business cards on doors, on all doors. I got a call. I was like, man, I don't know what to do. So I drive over to the guy's house. I'm 17 years, years old. Keep in mind. I walk up, I knock on the door. I'm like, how are you doing? This is, you know, I said my company's name and you know, shook the guy's hand. I was like, what can I do for you? He's like, well, you know, I'm wanting, um, I'm wanting gutters on the front, but keep in mind guys, like I prepped myself. I went to all these guttering companies and there's a guy staring at me. I went to all these guttering companies and I asked him, okay, so what's this? How do you do this? And you know, they were willing to tell me they were willing to, okay, you, you know, they didn't really show me how to do it, but they showed me how the angles, how they cut it, showed me little little tricks, you know, how to put a 45 to cut the angle. You know, I needed certain tools, so I went and bought those tools. Dude, I started a business up with $30, $30 total, because I had to buy the scissors to cut through the metal. And then I went to the, I went to this guy's house. I knocked on his door. I said, hey, how are you doing, sir? What can I do for you? I found out all the prices, all my competitors. I made them come to my house and bid on my house, so I knew what the going rate was. So, because people want value. They don't, you know, if you go cheap, if you go the cheapest, someone's not going to want that because you're too cheap. You got to be, you got to be with the flow. You got to go with the flow. So I was like, okay. So what I did is I wrote out price sheets and I was like, okay. And I found a price sheet and I was like, look, I'm, you know, I'm very competitive at what I do. And this is what, you know, this is my price, going price. Boom. He signed that contract and I made him pay half up front. That paid for all the material. I had no money. I went and I got all the material. I had, you know, I had it cut for me because I didn't have the machine to crimp it there at the house. So I had all pre-cuts for me and I left it a little bit longer so I could, you know, whenever I got there, I could make sure, you know, I wasn't short material, you know what I mean? Mismeasured or something. I went and I did that house and you know how much I made on that house? $3,000 because he wanted it all the way around. And you know why I got that job? Because I sold it because I sold it and I was determined. That's how I want you guys to be. You know, don't think that, uh, that you can't do something. You know, I, I, that was great. I was doing great. I had a great company. And then all of a sudden I cut my foot off. I was on the beach and I was on a gator. The gator flipped. I was with a friend. The gator flipped <laughs> off went my foot. The doctor told me you're never going to be on a ladder. So you know what I did? I got in school and I started classes. I got my basics. I went to a junior college because I didn't think I was smart enough to go through school. So I go through a junior college. I surprised myself. I actually did good. And then I went into, you know, got my prereqs, pre-med. Then I got into chiropractic school. I went, you think chiropractic school is easy? That's what I thought. Oh, my parents are chiropractors. I'm going to know everything. This is easy. I got there. I didn't know a damn thing. Nothing. I didn't know anything. I felt, you know, I cried every day. I'm trying to tell you this because this is what I went through. And I want you, I want people to wake up. You know what I mean? Quit feeling sorry for yourselves and get out there and do something for yourself. Quit sitting here, you know, even watching my videos. You know, I, there's not very many that watch. Maybe 30 people that watch my videos. 20, if that. A handful of you. But, you know, a lot of I notice a lot of people are young that watch my channel. And I want you guys to be determined. Because you're our future. You're going to be in our future's hands. And you need someone to tell you how to do something. You know, if you don't, if you don't have someone to tell you how to do it, I'll tell you. You know, 
message me. I don't mind sitting down and talking to you. I don't mind prepping people. I I have um, I have patients that are landscape, you know, a landscaper. He works as a waiter. I was like, you know what? I worked waiting. You know what I mean? And you know, you make me happy because you're doing a side job. You're trying to do better for yourself. You have kids. You have a wife. You have house payments. Life isn't easy. Life's not easy. It's gonna beat you down. You know what I mean? No one no one gives a crap about you. No one. So the only person that's going to care about you is yourself, and you got to you got to know that you got to know deep down that I got to do this for myself. And then once you do that, everything will start flowing. Don't think about the money. Think about you know if you think about money, it's never ever going to be there. Never going to be there. But if you think about making someone adding value to yourself, adding value to what you do, money's going to be there. If you're determined to help someone, like you know I I help people. I don't look at the money aspect. You know what I mean? I'm there. When you come into my office, I'm there to help you. I'm there to heal with my hands. God gave me a gift. It's natural for me to heal. But school, okay, I'm jumping all around. But I'm going to let you know school wasn't easy. I cried every single day. I thought I was dumb. I wasn't going to be able to get through it. But you know what? I got through it. You know, even in midway, I was like, you know, they're calling us doctors already. I don't even feel like I'm smart enough. I'm not going to get through this school. You know, that mindset right there was screwing with me. I had to keep telling myself, Michael, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You know, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. And, you know, God got me through it. <laughs> I'm telling you. And now, like, my life is, you know, coming together. And I just want you, you know, I know I'm on a rant here. Um, but it's only 7.20. You know, people right now are sleeping in bed, not getting anything done. I've already gotten my workout in. I'm about to go get my oil change. And all this is going to be done before 8 o'clock. Then I'm going to meet up with my best friend. I'm going to help him move. Because I have a, a tea time set up with two of my other buddies. And I just want you to know, guys, it's Friday. It's good Friday. You know, <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even like calling it Easter weekend. It's, it's the resurrection weekend. You know, God died for all of our sins, or Jesus died for all of our sins, and I want y'all to know that, because He will carry you. If you truly believe, I don't care if you're not a believer, if you don't believe, um, what what makes you think that? Is it because you don't want to go with the flow, you don't want to listen to what people are saying? You know, separate yourself. Be the wolf, not the sheep. Don't follow the crowd. Be your own self. Research. Do your own research. Ask God. <laughs> ask God Himself. You know what I mean? He, you know, he'll show you, he'll reveal to you who he really is. He's done me, you know, I'll get into that some other day. I'm not really ready for that to kind of open up my life and tell you what, what has happened to me. But put it this way, I've seen the light. I've been pronounced dead for over seven minutes. You know, I don't really go into this, but there's a there's something making me want to tell you this today. And, you know, I've always been kind of scared to, you know, talk about this, but, you know, it's time to wake up, people. It's time to wake up and smell the roses because life's life is good. life is good. Don't let it be bad. Quit, you know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is, I love you guys. You know, I'm on a rant this morning because I just I see people. It's just seeing those two young people sitting on the side of the road. Just you know, it gets to me because it's like, dude, y'all can y'all are so much better than what you. You believe you are. You know, you got to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. And you can do anything. Anything. Anything you want to be, you can be. Anything. I, you know, I was even telling my wife, I was like, man, I, I wouldn't even mind going back to school and becoming a, you know, a plastic surgeon. You know, reconstructing faces or something. I don't know. Like, you know, the sky's the limit. And, you know, I've just... You know, I haven't been putting up videos because I'm, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm motivated all the time. I don't have time to sit here and do edits and videotape. I would love it. I would love to do this. You know what I mean? I love videotaping. I love looking back on my life. Um, you know, what did I do last Thursday or this? Dude, I love looking at that. Oh, that's what I did. You know, but, you know, something like this, this is what I want my daughter to see. I want my daughter to see this video and be like, man, you know, I can do things. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to teach her this as she grows up because... The world doesn't want you knowing this. Bosses don't want you knowing that you can do it. You know, the world, you know, the system wants you to think that you can't do it. 
You know, no one teaches you, oh, you can go out and get a business name. You can go out there and do this. You don't need an education, guys. You don't need an education to become um, very successful and, you know, to have the things that you want. What matters to me in life is God, family, and friends. If you have the right mindset, you can set the world on fire. You know what I mean? Have God backing you. You know, I have Jesus behind you. 100%. All I'm saying is, I'm about to be at the automotive place right now. Get my oil change. You know what I mean? But enough talk like that. I don't know if, if you like me talking like this. I mean, I don't mind talking like this. I don't know if it's like, eh, too much. Oh, my battery's about to die on the camera too. And I have a long day ahead of me. Yeah, and one more thing. Always support the people you love. You know what I mean? Look, like, what are this guy that owns this, uh, this place, it's one of my buddies from high school. You know, I didn't talk to him very much, but you know what? I show support. I come here to get my oil change. I don't go to some other place, you know, like Walmart or something. I don't know them. Always try to help out the people that you love, that mean something to you, that bring value to you. That's all I'm saying. Would you look at that? It's sunny. <laughs> Would you look at that? I know y'all have seen that video, it's pretty funny. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> he cracks me up. But anyway, dude, it's only eight o'clock. I feel like I've already accomplished a lot in the day. People are still sleeping. Like, yes, yes, it's a good Friday. So it's kind of like fasting right now, so I can't get something like that I really want to eat. You know what I mean? People take care of their animals better than they take care of their own bodies. It's the same thing. You know, you got to take care of your vehicle if you don't want it to crap out on you. You know what I'm saying? So, remember that. Every 3,000 miles, get an oil change. Get your tires rotated. That's where I'm going right now, to get my tires rotated. Now we're at discount tire. You sad to be leaving? <laughs> Not even a little bit. Fill up, fill up, fill up. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Carl. Me and Carl gotta go do that, so, uh. Get it loaded up. Here's a new house, they're moving in. Looks good, looks good. Look at their house. Brand new home. Oh. Looks good. Goes upstairs. Take you in the kitchen. I've already got some of it already all set up. It's looking good. Got a backyard back there. Good job, Carl. Looks good, brother. Looks good. All right, let's unpack this. Awesome. Oh, we just got here. Okay. My cousin, Tim. We got Tony. Got a tee off first. Then what's your name again? Andrew. Andrew. I gotta remember that. These boys are about to get their butts kicked. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see. Okay, we're at Flying L right now. That's a house. That's a car. Oh no. Right, you got lucky right at those oak trees. Dude, it's the pump house, man. The pump. Sorry, Tony. Ouch. <laughs> I 
Look how beautiful it is out here. So, Carl, how you doing out here, brother? Horrible. <laughs> we, uh, we're not playing a very good game of golf, but we're having a good time. That's all that really matters, yeah. you know what I mean? We're playing chase the golf. <laughs> We're all in pretty, uh, pretty sour today, but, you know, it is a beautiful day, and, uh, can't beat a good, a good day of golf. I got my cousin hidden over here. Let's see what he's got. He's way in the back, as you can see him way back there. He doesn't have that muscle strength, but, oh, and it just duds right there. Oh, Barely stop. getting, <laughs> okay, no, we got Tony. He's on the marker right here. Oh no, he sees an ant mound. It's really messing with his brain. But I think he's got this, folks. Oh, and he's got a good hit, but it uh, slices to the right a bit. Yeah, I know. Alright. Oh, and he hits the tree. Doesn't know where it's going. And uh, it disappears. <laughs> Well, we're on hole 18. Not doing too bad on this back nine. Tim is killing it. Uh, I'm not doing so great, but I think I still got the lead from being on the front today. I think I champ right over the window. <laughs> so no one breaks it. That's pretty smart. They got like a screen over that window right there. I should have showed you, but sorry. Where'd you go? You went right here. Nice. I don't even know where you're gonna hit. I think you actually might be okay. That was in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's Tony's second hit right there. And this was my drive, son. Green's right there. That's where he just hit. It's my turn. Let's see what we got. All right, Carl. I'm about 100 out. I'm gonna take this up the sandwich. I never hit. Oh, you know. Nice hit, bro. Money. Nice. I just crushed it on the 18th hole. I'm on it too. We got three balls out here on the right over here. I don't know which one I am though, but crushing it. Slow down, 
Get it! Oh, so close. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, takes his practice shot at the approach. Any misses? Nice, Tim. Tim. Suck it. Oh, Thirty-three plus seventy-two is one of five. Flying L. Yeah, That's where we played golf Hi, today. Guys. All right. Who's my princess? My princess. Your daddy's princess? My, my princess? Are you daddy's princess? No, my mean my princess. What? My mean my princess that too. Being Poppy means my princess on a Saturday. Poppy crowned you a princess? Poppy crowned you a princess. Oh, Poppy crowned you a princess? I command you, Princess Lindley. Princess Lindley Ray. You are so beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Where are we going? Go oh, see Poppy. No, we're not going to see Poppy. Where are we going? Of course. Is today Good Friday? Let's go to church. Yep, going to church. Jesus died for our sins today. Yep. Okay. Lily, what do we have to do in church? You have to listen. And you have to be quiet, right? What is she saying back there? <laughs> what are you saying back there? Say, like, I'm daddy's princess. Yeah, there you go. We go to church and we listen. <laughs> go to church and we listen. <laughs> Lindley's telling you I'm not telling you. Good. Okay. We have to listen. Yep. And are you going to be a good girl during church? Uh -huh. Okay. Now you hit it again. I didn't make it at all. <laughs>